Good morning, everyone. At this time, can sergeants please start their recordings? Sergeant Katowski, you may begin with your opening statement. Good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Transportation. At this time, will all panelists please turn on their video? Please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. Morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's hearing of the Council of Committee on Transportation. Annie Danny Rodriguez, the chair of the committee. We have been joined by a number of my colleagues who are here. I will let the sergeant to call on the name. Today, we will be voting on three bills. All sponsored by my colleague, Council Member Fernando Cabrera. Proposed intro 1250-58 is in relation to the operation of certain electronic scooters. Proposed intro number 1264-A is in relation to the operation of certain electric bicycles. And proposed intro 1266-A is in relation to a pilot program for shared electro electric scooter. Over the past years, we have seen a large expansion of e-bike and e-scooters. The way in which we, we move around has increasingly evolved with shared mobility services popping up in the major cities throughout the world. Companies such as Birdline, Uber, Leaf, et cetera, have pop up, pop up throughout the cities, offering consumers the ability to travel in a different way. In New York State and those New York City, this trend is not new. Over the past couple of years, we have seen a rapid expansion of shared mobility services. And, and, and those, the increased use of e-bike and e-scooter, although seeing increased usage and adapting by consumers in the past years. In New York, only as a few months ago, e-bike and e-scooter became legal. As per agreement reached on April 1st, 2020, for the FY 2021 executive budget, these vehicles have been made legal throughout the state with the caveat that localities such as New York City will have the ability to decide how to regulate such vehicles. Those riding class three e-bikes will be required to wear a helmet in addition to the e-bike being made legal and being regulated. E-scooters will be cap at 50 miles per hour with riders under the age of 18 being required to wear a helmet. The state law legalized e-bike and e-scooters come with a section that New York City will be the one to regulate these vehicles. The three bills on today's agenda will do that proposed intro 1250-A will re remove prohibition in local laws against the operation of certain electric scooters allowed pursuant to a state law, including capping e-scooter speed limit at 20 miles per hour, reducing fines for operating these scooters and easing impoundment regulations proposed, propo I'm sorry, regulations. Proposed intro number 1264-A will remove prohibitions in local law against the operation or searching e-bikes allowed pursuant to a state law capping e-bike speed at 25 miles per hour and clarity laws applicable to e-bike operators. Finally, proposed intro number 1266-A will require the Department of Transportation to create a pilot program for the operation or share e-scooter in New York City. At this time, I call on Council Member Cabrera, the prime sponsor of all three bills, to say a few words. Good morning, and thank you, Chair Rodriguez and members of the Committee on Transportation. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on, on three important bills that will literally move us forward towards transit equity, social justice, environmental protection, and the reduction of car traffic. Today, we're moving forward to meet the transit needs of more New Yorkers, people living in transit deserts, people who can't afford public transit fares, people who support their families by delivering restaurant meals, and people with disabilities who need more options. 
since since these bills were introduced in 2018, we have heard the voices of so many people who have helped us to craft transit solutions that can really work for more people while making New York a greener, more accessible and livable city. Mr. Chair, you did such a wonderful job in explaining the, the bills. I will spare uh, uh, everyone from being redundant, but let me just say that New York City will be the first city in the state to authorize a pilot program. Let me say again, it's a pilot program for e-scooters since the governor signed the bill in April. I wanna thank uh, those who work in the bills, in, which include Elliot Lynn, Alex Washington, and Rick Arbello. I also wanna recognize uh, former council member, Rafael Spinal, who originally carried uh, the e-bike uh, bill. And I wanna thank especially the members of this committee. Uh, you, you gave advice regarding this bill. You, you've been there and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I know from all of our constituents, special thanks also to New York League of Conservation Voters, especially Julie Tai, Transportation Alternative, Tech NYC, Legal Aid Society, Waterfront Alliance, Tri-State Transportation, Regional Plan Association, New York Building Congress, Queens Chamber of Commerce, Bird, Line, and a special thanks as well to Michael Willards for all of your advice and wisdom. And with that, Mr. Chair, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you so much. As all of you know, guys, I, especially after I came back from Israel in a trip that we did together with Councilmember Greenfield, and I saw a number of riders using electric scooter back there in Israel. I came back also with a proposal to start pushing for electric scooter to be legal in our city. I know that council member Menchaca has also been in champion when it came also to electric bike, because we also know that for some people, this will be a luxury for hard working, especially the fast food worker deliveries, men and women, most of them people of color, this will make their life easier. I also feel that we also have to look at a individual that they have some physical challenges and how they can move easily in this vehicle. However, today I will be voting with a lot of reservation because I feel that that part related to where we those scooters will be charged has not been addressed. And, and I think that we have seen also some challenges in California, Los Angeles and other places. So I personally will be voting yes, we have a lot of reservation. I think that there's a lot of other issues that we have to address when it comes to safety of electrical scooter in our street. With that, I will add, and I call, I ask the committee clerk to call the vote. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation. Introductions 1250A, 1264A, and 1266A are coupled. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. I vote aye, Mr. Chair. I appreciate your input. And I will, uh, I'm looking forward to the pilot program uh, being just that, a pilot program so we could look at those very specific issues that you have addressed because we want to get it right. So I appreciate uh, your support in this bill and also uh, with the things that we definitely need to address. With that, I vote aye. And thank you to my colleagues. Deutsch. Aye and all. Coup. May I explain my vote? Yes. Mr. Chair, uh, I appreciate your input and I want to thank uh, Council Member Cabela for his views, but I have strong uh, reservations about the intro 1266A, the share program, uh, because uh, in some areas of New York City, uh, it's already too congested. 
Now, say for example, downtown Flushing, we have like 20 buses coming on Main Street. Uh, under normal times, it's already too congested. And then if you, uh, we have these shared bills, uh, people will ride their uh, scooters and you, they will leave you on the sidewalks and make a, and nobody's gonna pick them up. And during these pandemic times, uh, we don't have law mode, we don't have good enforcement because police are busy doing uh, other things. So this, this is a really minor thing for them to enforce. So I don't want uh, people to leave scooters uh, all around the place because downtown fashion is already um, too many pedestrians, too many, uh, too much um, uh, sidewalk. Uh, and then we have to do all these illegal vendors on the streets to create a, a, a big chaotic conditions uh, in our downtown area. So I will be voting yes on 1250A and 1264, but no on 1266A. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Levin. I vote aye on all. Levine. We'll be voting aye on all. Menchaca. Permission to explain my vote, Chair? Mr. Brenton. Thank you. So I'm going to be supporting uh, 1264 a but not 1250a or 1266a and i really ask my the members of this committee to uh hear the explanation for years immigrant workers who use e-bikes have been harassed fined and arrested by the nypd for the crime of keeping new yorkers fed we saw them and it took a global pandemic to teach new yorkers especially the mayor that these workers are essential and that their work should not be criminalized. Now with six, uh, 1264A, we can step closer to our daily work of building a sanctuary city and our honor, our commitment to protect the essential workers as we recover. The workers have a grand um, and beautiful agenda uh, that we must always keep center as we move forward to continue to deliver justice. On the other hand, 1250A and 1266A are not transformative by nature. In fact, they feed the twin disasters known as climate change and corporate greed. E-scooters are not a step toward a just transition as we review all the transport, transportation alternatives. The lifespan of a scooter is four to six months. We are reviewing legislation today because of the power of the venture capitalists. It just shows how nakedly e-scooter legislation is designed with corporate profits in mind, not people. I urge you all to vote no. Uh, some of you have already voted. If you want to change your vote, that'd be great. But it, on the floor of the city council to vote no on the bill and ask all our climate justice advocates to keep us all accountable as we move these bills forward, as we seek your support in the future. Moving forward, there's a lot we still need to do. And the state law authorizes all e-bikes to have a sticker identifying it as a legal device starting in 2022. For now, all e-bikes are exempted. But if we do not force manufacturers to send these stickers to immigrant delivery workers, we could find ourselves again in a place where the NYPD is criminalizing these workers. So I promise our immigrant neighbors that we won't leave them behind and that this has to happen in this council now. I vote aye on 1264A and no on 1250A and no on 1266A. Thank you. Miller. Good morning, everyone. Um, I will be joining my colleague, uh, Manchaka, and uh, voting the same as in, and I'm getting my numbers together now. Uh, no on 1250A, and I believe no on 1266A. Could you confirm that? And I'm just going down there. And yes on 
1264. Yes, you did that? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Reynoso. Permission to explain my vote? Permission, Ramsey. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez. Um, I just want to be clear. Um, on the voting, the, the safety issue to me is, is just nonsense. Uh, we continue to have that conversation while we allow for hundreds of people to die on our streets with vehicles with no regard or no concern. Very little motion and movement happening in the city council that speaks to the car deaths. No one's dying because of bikes. People are dying because of cars. And we don't have that same type of energy when we're trying to pass legislation to protect people um, that are being hit, pedestrians specifically. Um, and cyclists that are being hit in the streets. So I just, um, it, 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 it pains me every time I hear a council member talk about safety and, um, and they not address the issue of vehicles. Uh, I am concerned about the comments that were made by council member Miller and Chaka. So I will be voting I on all, but we'll be paying attention. Um, we'll be having conversations in the background with council, with council member Chaka and Miller to understand exactly what their concerns are with the two bills that we're talking about. Uh, I wanna be clear on it and I'm, I'd be more than happy to change my vote as stated um, if the concerns that they have are valid. But as of now, I'm gonna be voting aye on all. Um, so thank you. Richard. Aye on all. Oh. I gotta vote. Rose. Um, permission to explain my vote. Um, thank you. I, uh, I too have some trepidation uh, about the e-scooters. And, um, and so I am going to vote in favor of all of these bills. But, um, but I want to ensure that because this is a pilot, that this program will be closely scrutinized and that we will be able to revisit it at the end of the year. Um, and if in fact, it does not bear out that um, the concerns that have been expressed by my colleagues um, have uh, been sort of brought to bear, then, um, then I, um, I, want, I would like for us to be able to uh, end the pilot. So um, I'm gonna vote in favor of it um, with the fact that it's a pilot program and it has a limited shelf life. Thank you. Holden. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Uh, I wasn't uh, on the committee at the original hearing. I guess it was in January of uh, 2019. I have a number of questions. I had my hand raised because I wanted to find out about DOT's position on these bills. Uh, so I have reservations about a few of them. I, uh, I've seen some e-bikes traveling uh, at great speeds. Uh, and uh, what the previous council member said about um, uh, no reservations about safety. Well, when you're traveling down the wrong way on a one-way street at 20 miles an hour or greater, that's a danger to pedestrians. It's a danger to everybody. So I think there is there are some uh, reservations I have. Um, I'm going to um, vote no on all because um, to me, I look I, reviewing the report of DOT. There are reservations about a number of the bills. So um, I do have reservations about safety, and I do have reservations about many e-bike uh, riders uh, not not observing uh, traffic regulations. Uh, and the, as far as the e-scooters, um, looking at the data from around the country, there are concerns that many uh, um, e-scooters, pe people are riding on the sidewalk. In fact, about 25% of them. So I have great concerns, certainly in Manhattan. So with that, no on all. Cohen.
Council Member Cohen, Andrew Cohen. I think that is muted. Council Member Cohen. Uh, this is the Chief Sergeant at Arms. I believe he is having trouble with his audio. He's unmuted. Still can't hear you, Councilman. We're trying to resolve the situation. If we could just hold for one moment. Mr. Chair, uh, can I make a point of clarification? Yes, you may. Uh, just to address uh, council members holding concern about DLT. DLT, we had numerous conversations and they are on board with this bill. Thank you. How about now? Can anybody hear me now? Yes, we do. Uh, excellent. Mr. Chair, can I explain my vote, even though I've already taken up a lot of time? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll be very, very brief. Not going to sound perfectly internally consistent. I'm going to vote aye on 1266 and no on 1250 and 1264. Uh, I really support the concept of of these bills, I think that there, you know, this the future of the city is dependent on us coming up with different and new ways to move people around. Uh, but I feel like uh, there's no support for infrastructure for these bills. We need to have a streetscape that supports e-bikes and supports scooters, and we don't have that. Uh, so I, I think it's frankly irresponsible for us to allow these vehicles on the street with no infrastructure support. Um, when the day comes that we're serious about this and we're going to build corresponding infrastructure, uh, you know, I'll be the first one to uh, sign on. Uh, I'm supporting 1266 essentially because it's a pilot. And look, I hope that I'm proven wrong and that we can, that, that, that e-scooters work well in the city and they can adapt to the streetscape that we have. Uh, but again, I have real reservations in the, with, with the streets design that we have now, how this is going to work. So I'm going to vote no on 1250 and 1264 and yes on 1266. Thank you. Following vote uh, on Committee on Transportation, introduction 1264 is adopted by a vote of 11 in the affirmative, one in the negative, no abstentions. Introduction 1266 with eight in the affirmative, 
four in the negative, no abstentions. And intro 1250A with eight in the affirmative, four in the negative, no abstentions. And with that, this hearing is adjourned.